Hello everyone, welcome to online mining exam. Today's quiz is based on Mines Act for Mine Management, Legislation and General Safety subject. It is a part of our Achievers Practice Series initiative. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated about all future classes and quizzes. So in this quiz, there will be 10 questions and for every question you will get 30 second time to respond. After the time is up, the correct answer will be displayed on the screen. In case of any doubt pertaining to any question, please put them in comments after completing the quiz. For free study material, you can join our WhatsApp group. The link for the WhatsApp group is provided in the description of the video. इस क्विज में 10 क्वेश्चंस होंगे और प्रत्येक क्वेश्चन के लिए आपके पास 30 सेकंड का समय होगा समय खत्म होने पर सही ऑप्शन स्क्रीन पर डिस्प्ले कर दिया जाएगा किसी भी क्वेश्चन के बारे में कोई डाउट होने पर आप उन्हें क्विज खत्म होने के बाद कमेंट में डाल सकते हैं और फ्री स्टडी मटेरियल के लिए आप व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं जिसका लिंक वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिया गया है सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मेनी एजेंट्स कैन बी देयर फॉर ए सिंगल माइंड ए ओनली वन बी मैक्सिमम टू सी मिनिमम टू डी वन और मोर E, none of these. Your time starts now. Time up. The correct answer is D. One or more. Next question. Which of the following means a day as under the Mines Act? A. Sunday 5 p.m. to Monday 5 p.m. B. Saturday 5 p.m. to Sunday 5 p.m. C. Saturday midnight 0 a.m. to Monday midnight 0 a.m. Monday midnight 0 a.m. to Tuesday midnight 0 a.m. None of these. So your time starts now. Time up. The correct answer is D. Monday midnight 0 a.m. to Tuesday midnight 0 a.m. Okay. Next question. Under the Mines Act, a person is said to be employed in the mine who works as dash or who works under appointment by the owner, agent or manager of the mine or with the knowledge of the manager whether for wages or not in any mining operation. A. Manager. B. Employer. C. Officer. D. Laborer. E. Salaried person. Your time starts now. Time up. The correct answer is A. Manager. Next question. So, a quick reminder to all of you that there are only 52 days remaining before the exam. Sirf 52 din bache hain exam ke liye. To aap apni tayari jaise kar rahe hain. Agar aapko zor lagta hai ki thoda aur improve karne jarurat hai. To improve karke aur achche se tayari karte rahiye. Practice daily basis pe karte rahiye. Okay. If anybody has any doubt or inquiry related to Paid courses, they can call on the number displayed on the screen. The paid courses include a structured curriculum, 50 plus hours of live classes, 30 mock tests for practice, revision notes and premium WhatsApp group access. Also, you get recordings of the classes for revision. Paid courses, you have a structured curriculum ke according classes. Hoti 50 plus hours of live classes, aapko 30 mock tests honge and एक रिवीजन नोट्स भी हर टॉपिक पे आपको मिलेगा एक प्रीमियम व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप का एक्सेस मिलेगा जिसमें आप अपने डाउट्स पूछ सकते हैं और इसके साथ-साथ क्लास के रिकॉर्डिंग भी आपको मिलेगी ताकि आप कभी भी जब भी चाहें उसे रिवाइज कर सकते हैं थैंक यू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ डिस्ट्रिक्ट मजिस्ट्रेट इन एनी टाउन इज अपॉइंटेड बाय ए द चीफ इंस्पेक्टर ऑफ माइंस 
B. The Regional Inspector of Town C. The Central Government D. The Supreme Court E. Chief Justice of India Your time starts now. Time up. The correct answer is C. The central government. Next question. In which case a person is not said to be employed in a mine? A. Person involved in construction of any plant in the mine or for rendering services. B. Person involved in watching and controlling any theft in the mine. C. Person engaged in writing medical prescription to dependents of a mine supervisor. D. Person engaged in housekeeping in any of the offices in a mine. Person engaged in gathering sand and transporting to the mine for use. Your time starts now. Time up. The correct answer is C. Person engaged in writing medical prescriptions to dependents of a mine supervisor. Next question. Under the Mines Act, after amendment, a qualified medical practitioner means a medical practitioner who possesses any recognized medical qualification as defined in Clause H of Section 2 of the Dash. Your time starts now. Time up. The correct answer is C. Indian Medical Council Act 1956. Next question. Reportable injury means any injury not being a serious bodily injury that causes an absence from work for a period of A. 24 hours or more. B. 48 hours or more. C. 72 hours or less. D. 78 hours or more. E. None of these. Your time starts now. Time up. The correct answer is E. Reportable injury. Injury causing enforced absence from work for 72 hours or above. Next question. In mines, where the work of the same kind is carried out by two or more sets of persons working during different periods of the day, each of such sets is called a dash and each of such periods is dash. A. Relay. Shift. B. Gang. Shift. C. Shift. Relay. D. Shift. 8 hours. E day 24 hours your time starts now Time of the correct answer is A. Relay shift. Next question. A person working or employed in or in connection with the mine is said to be working or employed below ground if he is working or employed. A. In a shift which is in the course of being sunk. B. In an excavation which does not extend below superadjacent ground. C. In an open cast working. 
D, both A and B, E, all of the above. Your time starts now. Time up. The correct answer is A. In a shift, in a shaft, which is in the course of being sunk. Next question. A dash injury means any injury other than a serious bodily injury, which involves or in all probability will involve the enforced absence of the injured person from work for a period of 72 hours or more. A. Minor. B. Major. C. Severe. D. Fatal. E. None of these. Your time starts now. Next question. Time up. The correct answer is E. Reportable injury. Thank you everyone for your participation. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated about all future classes and quizzes. Share the video with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get benefited from our free initiatives. Thank you.